Today's recipe reminds me of the hearty, delicious breads I used to eat in Germany, and they would just fill them full of nuts and seeds and vegetables and fruits. Mmm, so good. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we are passionate about everything healthy. Today, we are going to be making a carrot date breakfast muffin. Let's begin by adding one and one half cups of buckwheat flour into a large mixing bowl. So buckwheat flour is a gluten-free flour and it's not related to wheat at all. It's actually really high in protein and dietary fiber. To it, we're going to add three tablespoons of ground flaxseed, which is also really high in dietary fiber that supports a healthy digestion. Two tablespoons of tapioca flour, which is the starch from a cassava root. And this is going to give our muffins a chewy texture. For a touch of sweetness, I have one quarter cup of coconut sugar, which can be substituted with date sugar or urethritol or even Lakanto. For a little bit of spice, I have two teaspoons of Ceylon cinnamon, along with our leavening agents, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one half of a teaspoon of baking soda. Along with one quarter teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. For an extra boost of digestive, skin, and joint health, I'm going to add in three scoops of our clean sourced collagen's powder. Whisk together your dry ingredients until well combined. And now for some nutritional add-ins, I have one and a half cups of shredded carrots, one cup of coarsely chopped dates. I used eight medjool dates, and I am leaving them pretty big sized pieces, but that's completely up to you how large you'd like the date pieces to be in your muffins. Stir to coat, breaking up your date pieces if need be. And now for our wet ingredients, I have one cup of light coconut milk, which can be substituted with your preferred milk, three tablespoons of coconut oil for some healthy fats. Last, I have one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar for flavor. Stir in your wet ingredients. And then the last ingredient I'm going to add is one cup of chopped up walnuts, or you could use pecans. Toss together and let your batter sit for just a few minutes to thicken up while you line or grease your muffin tins. Scoop out the batter evenly and bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Our muffins are ready to try. I cannot wait, they smell so good. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's got these wonderful big chunks of walnuts and dates inside, so every bite is going to have so much texture and different flavors. Let's see. These muffins are so hearty. I love it, and I love that every bite is different, and I love the crunch, and I love the sweetness. I think these are a winner. I hope you give them a try. We appreciate you being here. Be sure to like and subscribe our video if you enjoyed this recipe today. Make great choices this next week, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Take care, bye-bye.